Welcome to Arizona State University's Global Freshman Academy. This video will cover the topic, Solving a Quadratic Equation Using the Square Root Property, Exact Answers, Basic. Let's jump straight into an example. We have the example x squared equals 75. Is that really a quadratic equation? I'm only used to quadratic equations being in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. A very good point. Most quadratic equations will be written that way, but they can be manipulated. Ultimately, a quadratic equation is any equation in which the variable is raised to the power of two. So even this little equation is quadratic. So how do I solve this one then? Think about it. We simply want to get the variable alone to one side with an answer on the other side, right? Then how do we get the x alone on the left side? Would I take the square root of both sides? Exactly. Let's take the square root of both sides to get x equals square root of 75. Now we can't forget that in a quadratic equation there are two answers, so in this case it is x equals positive square root of 75 and x equals negative square root of 75. Or we can write it as x equals plus or minus square root of 75. This is because if we square positive radical 75, or if we square negative radical 75, we get the answer to be 75 in both cases. Is it possible to simplify the square root? Yes, in fact we should. We think of the factors of 75 that are square numbers. One that comes to mind is 25, which is paired with 3 to be 75. Rewrite the answer as x equals plus or minus square root of 3 times 5 times 5. As we can see, there are two 5's in our square root, so we just take out a 5 to get x equals plus or minus 5 square root of 3. So when solving a quadratic equation using the square root property, we can take the square root of both sides and we'll be left with two answers, one positive and one negative. And then if we need to, we can simplify our answer. Exactly! 